Guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm rebuilding Sparta Prague, who's not won the Champions League but got into the semi final three times. And in 1992, they won the UEFA Cup Winners Cup. But for now, Expert Khan's going to take them back to the European glory days. They've not had it since 1992. A warm welcome Guys, ex uh, Expert Khan has been revealed as the Manager. Czech Republic best team in Czech Republic, basically. Sparta Prague, Khan's kept the number one, and he's going to be the manager. And guys, with this team, I'm going to definitely be looking for wing play because all these European teams, they really love wing play. But let's have a quick look at Tiki Taka. Definitely not gag and press. Maybe not park the post sometimes when you're playing Real Madrid. Counter attack, no kick and rush. I think, yeah, the best for any European club is wing play, especially the lower leagues. So this is what I'm going. And guys, I'm having to choose the uh, coaches. So this coach looks good. 4.2 thousand euros and i'm gonna put him to the striker position okay yeah that'll be good hire more coaches yes definitely i need another coach for midfield yeah this guy mije kolochik 1.8 thousand pound a thousand euros sorry he's in the midfield position and definitely need to hire more this guy 3.2 grand andrea Banutia. Ooh, this guy is going to be in the defensive area. And finally, guys, the goalkeeper. You know, maybe in playing FIFA, now the uh, EAFC, this is a bit different. You need coaches in order to improve your players. So four coaches I've hired. Definitely is going to improve my team. Guys, first look at the team. And this is a lot of players are in 70s. That's decent. I think we can get, uh, we are in the Romanian league, as you can see. So a lot of players are in 70s. I think it'll be easy in the league, but in the European con uh, European competition, that really we want to focus. And this is the list of teams that are in this uh, Romanian Super League. And probably the only team I've ever heard of is this number eight FC SB. And uh, no clear yeah, Cluj, uh, CR CFR 19, 1907 Cluj. That's the only two teams I really heard of. And we've got 10 million euros to work with. That is decent in the first season. And uh, even with this team, I can really win the league and try getting a double in the cup. First game of the season is actually a hard one. But before that, let's get the European competitions, friendly competitions out of the way. But first game of the season is really tough. It's against probably the toughest Romanian side I've ever heard of. It is Cluj. Let's go to the game and see what we can achieve. We are going with wing play, by the way, guys. And the... Uh, formation is kind of different 3-4-3 three, three probably um, but now let's see if we can actually win our opening game oh, massive full house stadium Sparta Prague one of the fierce teams in European football in the 90s even in early 2000s we were almost uh, scared to go away even like the big team Chelsea Arsenal I remember Arsenal going to Sparta Prague we did win 3-0 and we spot the a record breaking goal for Arsenal was Sparta Prague, one of the teams that all these English football teams really tried avoiding because they were tricky away team. Uh, he's tried to pass it to Kutska, but uh, great defending by Krescic and Cluj get away with it here. They're trying to get the attack of their own going. Number 30 passes on to Jeff T and a goal for the away team. 20 minutes into the game, and it's Cluj get the opener. 1-0, Sparta Prague and Expert Khan are not up to a fly in the first game so far. Goal down in the 20 minutes. Oh, quick short corner taken. Oh, that could have been... That is a handball, referee points to the spot. And a breakthrough for Sparta Prague, 10 minutes from time. Could be 1-1 here. They have been trailing all throughout the game. I think that's a bit harsh, just, just above the elbow. But here's the substitute. It just come on. And with his first touch, he can level the scoreline. Number 39. Oh, it's the post. This could be the chance. A good ball. Oh, guy who missed the penalty should score. Should top walk it in. And he does. Second minute of stoppage time. He played 50 seconds more than what was required. And they are scored. He just come off the bench. Missed the penalty with his first touch. But he gets the equaliser. The almighty... One point for Sparta Prague in the first game. 
Guys, I simulated two months of football, but looking at the results, we beat, we drew 1 1 in the first game though, against the toughest side in uh, Romania, and then the defeat it was, and 2 1 victory. We had, we had another defeat to FCSB, but 4 1 victory away from home against Rapid, and now we are against Genk in the UEFA Conference League. Oh, Big blow here, Kuchita, who's had a great start to the season, is absolutely injured. He won't be starting, and he might not even play for a couple of weeks. But uh, we are having to start up with a 66-rated striker, who's got the winner, who got the late equaliser in the first outing. But uh, let's go with Ulan Tunji. Oh, chance for Kane, great defending at the back again by Sparta Prague. Is Olan Tanjani, first appearance of the season. He's already <laughs> beaten the defence. No one chasing him back. Oh, he goes past the defender into the empty nets and he slots it in. Sparta Praga, one goal to the court. Eight minutes into the second half. And he couldn't have gone with a better start. Expert Khan, his team are 1-0 up in the first game of Conference League. And what's a goal by the new strikers who just appeared for the first time this season. Oh, what's he going to do? Oh, great defending by McKenzie. He clears for Genk. That was solid defending at the back. Oh, chance for Olympton G and his 2-0 Sparta Prague. Uh, you can say they sealed the three points, but this number seven... When his first appearance of the season, Expert Khan going with a bit of rotation after his uh, star man injured Kuchita in the previous game. But what a start, what a comeback this guy's making. Not playing a minute before this, when he's come on the pitch, scored two goals. And 15 games into the season, and uh, we're going to play halfway through the season to be honest. Two defeats for Sparta Prague, and they are five points ahead of Sepsi OSK. The team that really feared was Cluj and FCSB are really far well off behind as Expert Khan really taking this league by the storm. And in the semi-final of the Cooper Nationala uh, Romania, we are playing Farul Costanta. But in the Europa Conference League, we are struggling. After three games, we are, th uh, we are fourth and we definitely need to get into the top two in order to get ourselves into the next round. Our chance... For Genk, once sidesteps one and in the net, squeezed out the near post. Keeper should be really disappointed there. And in the conference league, Genk are one nil to the good at, uh, away to Sparta Prague. Expert Khan furious with his defense there. Oh, chance for Genk all the way into the net, and that is surely the winner. Two nil it is to Genk, the double the lead. Sparta Prague not coming back for me. He's a rocker there for Kink in the far post. Keeper, I think he should be doing that. Both goals is keeper at fault, definitely. Sparta Prague, two goal down at home. And guys, after 20 matches, Sparta Prague lead the table again with six points at the moment. They were the maximum at 10 points a couple of games ago, but two draws in a row has closed the gap for Faru Constantana. Cluj are right in the mix as well. They're currently seven points behind the leader Sparta Prague. And in the Europa Conference League, guys, we have to simply win against Ferenc Varosi. Ferenc Varosi, okay, we have to beat them by two goals at least, and Fiorentina draw against Genk or lose or else if Fiorentina lose or if Fiorentina win they top the table Genk go second and Sparta Prague go home with nothing let's go to the game oh referee points to the spot that is harsh come on Gomez number five penalized let's see if he actually hit his hand yeah he kind of moves his hands towards the ball penalty given to Fer Ferres not quite sure the name, but they have a chance to take the lead here. Keeper giving him the eyes, but it's in the roof of the net. And 1-0 to the home team, Sparta Prague, struggling to create chances in the conference league. In the league, they are really cruising six points ahead at the moment. Oh, what a turn by Ramirez. He's got two men in the box, he's going to find them properly. 
Oh, chance, chance for Verens, Verens, Verosti, but not taken. Cross comes in, defended. Oh, penalty again. I could see it from here this time. And it's got a good scar who's been penalized. Two penalties in the space of 10 minutes or so. I think that didn't really touch his hand. But it's a penalty, and referee points to the spot. Referee goes the same way, gives him the eye. Two nils of Varenswarski. I don't know what country they play in, but they are really ripping it here. Perez with the goal. Seven, number 72 at the back. Got the brace. And Sparta Prague could be he heading home with nothing. Guys, it's that time of the season again. January transfer window. We've got 12 million to spend. I'm going to have to spend it wisely, guys. Adam Armstrong. English man, he's playing for Union STG. I think they are in the Conference League, Europa League this season. Played uh, Liverpool, not quite sure. Let's try and approach this guy from that team. And let's see who else is available to sign. Now, it's first signing for Sparta Prague under expert gun. It is Adam Armstrong for Union STG. He's signed for 6 million, hoping that we can actually get nothing but uh, A, B, or C. He's fine as well, but definitely no F, guys. He's training here in Prague, uh, in the capital. Armstrong is getting nowhere in heaven. That shirt looks good on him. Guys, second signing of the season, but the first one, well, the second, the first free agent signing, I should say, for Sparta Prague. We've got a Mexican left winger, Herrera, and his first handshake with expert card, hoping that he gets into the starting 11. He has to prove his worth in training. And guys, final signing coming through the doors of Sparta Prague. He is a left right winger and he's American, 25 years of age. He's a bit short here, but I think he's going to be quick. First hand share with expert car. And guys, the three some uh, three winter signings are on the sub bench as for yet. Or both the first two were 73, then down to 71. My team is decent, but I really need to improve if I really want to get into the Champions League and try even winning a European trophy because in Conference League we got shattered by Genk and Fer Ferenc, Ferenc Worski. Oh, what a run that could be for Kushta. He's got no one ahead of him, but from the defence, that's chasing him. Passes across the face of the goal, in Sparta Praha, run over the goal on the half hour mark. What a run from there, number nine. Passes it to Rasling, and Sparta Praha won't go to the good it's for number nine. For Farul, and it is 1 0 to the away team in the fall, in the 10th minute of the game. And this is one of the uh, title deciding match. Potentially, Farul, who had been chasing Spark Prav all throughout the season, have, have lost ground themselves. It is the FCS Bay who are second. That is a massive game against Cluj at the top of the championship round towards the end of the season. One game done, we actually won that away from home. This is the home goal. And uh, we have to really win. We are a point behind FCSB. The team that's chased us down all the way. The 10 points the gap. And then they are just a point behind. They were just two points behind us. End of the season. But for now, let's focus on this game and try taking three points, or else the title will slip away from us. Oh, good turn. Good turn by Kushta. Should score and he does. Sparta Prague scored the stroke of half time. The number nine up front again for them. Harasling is, is Zelaini. Passes in the centre. Kushta should score. Seals it. Absolutely seals it for Sparta Prague. 66 minutes on the clock and it's the number nine again. Second goal of the day. And three points to Sparta Prague. Esper Khan really showing his quality in his first season in the Romanian League. Guys, I simulated six matches in 4 v won this month. And then a draw away and a won against uh, Cluj as well. So let's go check the table in the league to see where we are. We are currently three points ahead of FCSB and a game in hand as well. And now let's go check the... We actually beat Farul in the semi-final 2-1 and now we've got a game against Sepsi or SK Dean. These teams are really long names guys, I'm just going to call it Sepsi in the final. That would be a fantastic game. 
Guys, look at the table. Long, one game remaining in the championship round. We are still unbeaten, only two draws. And the next opponent is, of course, FCS Bay, who we play next. And six points to come. We are the champions, guys. But let's go to the game and see ourselves lift the trophy again. This time with Expert Khan, though. Guys, I was simulating the match, and it's 3 3, 83 minutes on the clock. I'm just going to play the last six or seven minutes and then. Final whistle. I'm going to be lifting the trophy, the league, the first in my hand as a manager of this team in Romania, in Romanian league, a post part Prague in Romanian league because Czech Republic doesn't have a league. And this could be the, the icing on the cake. Catch cool. What I say? I was lost for words. And that's it, guys. 3 3 in the final day of the season. Expert Khan is going to cherish this moment for sure. They are the league title champions. First season in, Expert Khan showed his worth. Three goals from different players for Sparta Prague has settled the nerves in the first half. It was 2 2 actually in the first half. Second half, they got the goal again. You are the league champions under Expert Khan. Ooh, look at the size of the trophy. That's like bigger than the Champions League trophy. Oh, hopefully, one day Sparta Prague are going to lift the Champions League trophy under this manager, Expert Khan. I think they should be in the Champions League next season. Not quite sure what happens, but I think they should be because if they are the champions, champions do get into the Champions League playoff or even the group stages. But before that, I really need to improve the team. So, guys, end of the season one is it done, guys. Expert Khan has managed to lift the trophy. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode when we go to the season number two. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. Guys, we're also in the Cooper Nationale of Romania. Sparta Prague vs. Sepsi. Sepsi and Sparta Prague already won the league last weekend. I've got a chance to do the double here in Romania. Expert Khan first season in. And he's going to win the double. That is absolutely embarrassment for Romania as a league. And chance for Sepsi and they've taken the league. Number 10, Mate with the goal in the first 10 minutes or so. Sparta Prague could be rattled here, the champions of Romania. Romanian league. Is Rondon. Cross comes in. Could be three and curtains for Sparta Prague here. Oh my word. How is this possible? Five minutes into the second half. And it is Sepsi with the three goal lead. I was really not expecting this to be honest. I really thought we we're going to win it easily. Because it's Cluj and FCSB who's been taking me to the wire in the league. Sepsi were not even in the top four I think. I've not checked the table properly. But then even the drop point there beating me to lead in the final. That is absolutely embarrassment for Expert Khan. Guys, a quick recap to the league. We were we, we did win the Super League after 30 games, but then in the championship round we actually won as well, beating Farul by six points. Sepsi who won <laughs> Sepsi who actually took the league of us, they came fourth. So I think I underestimated them. So they they won they beat us in the cup final 4 1 to big embarrassment there. And the Super League playoff in Romania, Sepsi lost the final to CVA. I'm not quite sure what team that is and what cup this is the Super League playoff. And the Champions League goes to Manchester City beating Sevilla as Europa UEFA Super Cup actually goes to Manchester City beating Sevilla 5 4 on penalties. United beating Dortmund in the final of the Champions League. Liverpool beating Atalanta 3-2 in the Europa League. Conference League goes to Aston Villa beating Fanapache. So that's it guys. End of the series. End of the episode. Sorry. End of the episode. And see you next season guys in next episodes. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and stay well. Thank you for watching.